remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Supporters of Right Honorable Sharif Oborewari, Governor-elect of Delta State, have reeled out their expectations under his incoming administration. They made their views known on the quality of governance that will improve the lots of Deltans as from May 29, 2023, shortly after Right Honorable Oborewari was issued a certificate of return as Governor-elect of Delta State recently in Asaba. Supporters of Right Honorable Sheriff Uberewari, winner of the March 18, 2023 governorship election, were in a jubilant mood as they stormed the Otowodo Geli Junction to felicitate with the governor elect who was on his way from Asaba to his hometown in Usubi. At Usubi town, they also stormed the highway to welcome their victorious son. Oberewari supporters were again in a jubilant mood, this time in Asaba, as their principal was issued a certificate of return as governor elect of Delta State last week. Of return governor elect of Delta State. Let's give him a round of applause and a shouting of Asia. While still basking in the euphoria of victory, Oberewari supporters have not lost sight of a well governed Delta State in the next four years. A good number of them would want the incoming governor to embark on massive infrastructural development across Delta states. I would like him to concentrate first on the completion of the Asaba, Ugele dualization, because that road is for the whole state and every day people utilize it from uh, Ugele Oto Odo to Asaba here is very very crucial very important for the state i would like uh, the new governor to have a special focus on the niger plate those are the niger plate that are flooded every year they are relocating now and in no time Ndoka east local government area will no longer be in existence so i will love him to concentrate and collaborate with the federal agencies to come over and help to dredge the Niger to reclaim the land and let there be development there. He's going to be governor for all, but the worry per se need extra attention. And I strongly believe being a worry boy is going to do that. Others, however, want the Delta State governor elect to give priority to economic empowerment in the governance of the states. So I would like him to concentrate on education and more. Also, in empowerment. He has to empower the youth, he has to include the youth in his government, he has to, there has to be some entrepreneurial programs that uh, he will train the youth and uh, maybe give them startup back, empower them to start their own businesses. Then he also needs to concentrate in the civil service. The civil servants, they need training. We, as women, we expect him to give us more job opportunities, to create a, a skills accusation for the women and more opportunities in his office. We are expecting a government that will promote youth inclusiveness. We are expecting a government that will provide more em employment for people. We are expecting a government that will unite the state like never before. In the March 18th governorship election, Right Honorable Borewari trounced his closest rival, Senator Ovie Omagege, with a landslide victory. Having won in 21 out of 25 local government areas of Delta states. For supporters of the governor elect, his victory did not come as a surprise, considering the innovation he had introduced in election campaigns. One of such innovations was the establishment of the Sharif Call Center, which served as an interactive platform to exchange ideas with the electorate on issues of governance prior to the governorship election. On a daily basis, volunteers at the call center located in Wari made and received calls Thank from you. the electorate across three senatorial districts of Delta states. Dr. Vincent Odogbo, National Coordinator of Delta Connect, and Mrs. Ejiro Agofuri, Publicity Secretary of Delta Connect, 
We are responsible for daily operations at the Sheriff Call Center. I wasn't surprised when I saw that he had the opponent, um, Senator Ovioma Gege, had four local government. It was expected because while they were busy with propaganda and politics, Sheriff was gaining inroads into the heart of people. It is more like an each one tell one. You call into a family, it spreads. They say, ah, Sheriff called me. He called me today. And they like, sometimes they even call back to confirm if actually it was from Sheriff Call Center. So it, it did a lot of spinner for us. And the votes that were supposed to go the other way started coming to us. The purpose for which the call center was set up was actually achieved, you know, before and during the elections. The congratulatory calls have been so, so much. I want us to put our minds at rest and know this. Right Honorable Sheriff Oborewori is going to do more for Deltans. We will have no cause whatsoever to regret during his tenure. Most Deltans written for Right Honorable Oborewori during the electioneering period stood with him, convinced that his experience in governance and street credibility would see him through. Now that the governorship election has been won and lost, Chief Alex Imara, a Wari resident, calls on all Deltans, regardless of their political differences, to support the incoming administration to succeed. Emergence of Sheriff is divine. Everybody should cooperate with him. Opposition, wherever. He has said it that he has no that everybody should come together and build a united government. Sheriff is the one that God has chosen. The people have also chosen him. We should all unite behind Sheriff and give him all the support that he needs to be able to deliver the division of democracy. In the meantime, several groups have been visiting Oberewori to congratulate him on his emergence as governor of Delta States. Last week, the College of Permanent Secretaries in Delta State, led by Reginald Bayoko, the state's head of service, visited the new governor-elect, while the National Union of Journalists, NUJ, Delta State's chapter, led by its chairman, Michael Ikeogu, also visited the incoming governor. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, led by Apostle Silvanus Okoruti, we're also at Oberewori's office to congratulate him on his emergence as governor. While addressing the different groups, Oberewori assured them that he is going to be a governor for all Deltans and ensure that his more agenda impacts on every segment of the Delta society. While they eagerly await his inauguration as the next democratically elected governor of Delta states, Rice Honorable Oberewori has enjoined his supporters and indeed all Deltans to walk towards a seamless transition in governance and expects the best in his incoming government. In due course, the government shall be a full inter international committee that will be the wife by inauguration come May 29, 2023. Until then, I implore all Deltans, a resident to remain prayerful, peaceful and law abiding. By God's grace, we shall do more to advance the United States. God bless all of us. Right Honorable Borewori, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Governor-elect of Delta State, promises to bring about meaningful development, opportunities for all, realistic reforms, as well as enhanced peace and security in the governance of Delta State. In anticipation of better days ahead, the Governor-elect of Delta State was recently hosted by friends, political associates and supporters in celebration of his electoral victory and issuance of certificates of return. The celebration for them marks the beginning of a new era of shared prosperity and unity in Delta States. Inside the Niger Delta, 